We're back live here towards the end of day one of Hadoop Summit 2012. This is SiliconAngle.com, SiliconAngle.tv, and in conjunction with Wikibon.org. Um, this is theCUBE, our flagship telecast. We go out to the event, talk to everyone we can, we can find, find the stories, find the knowledge, share that with you, extracting the signal from the noise, and we're happy to be here. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconAngle. I'm joined with Jeff Kelly uh, with Wikibon.org. Jeff, uh, we're back, end of the day. We are, we still so got, we still got some time to go. We're squeezing in a couple more interviews, so uh, who do we have here? Well actually, I'm pretty excited about this interview. We've got Jim Kobielis from IBM, uh, former Forrester research analyst covering big data, uh, now working at IBM doing uh, some marketing around uh, big data and the TISA, uh, and your whole big data kind of strategy there. And, uh, I'm an evangelist. You're an evangelist, and the reason I, uh, I'm excited about this is because in my past life at Tech Target as a reporter, uh, you were one of my uh, greatest resources, and I really uh, and appreciate all- And you're one of my greatest reporters. Oh, Thank well, you very much for scratching my back there. It's a love fest <laughs> here on theCUBE, but yeah. uh, anyway, very excited. So tell us a little bit about what you're doing now at uh, IBM. Yeah, at IBM, um, I'm a big data evangelist, and you know, marketing, evangelization, really it's all about um, calling out what IBM has, well, first of all, calling out the stakes for big data. Um, how it's big data, and big data analytics, advanced analytics, things like Hadoop, are being incorporated into, into business, modern business, to help you run your business better. So really calling out uh, the applications, the use cases for big data. Of course, calling out what IBM has to offer in terms of products and services all around big data. Um, and uh, you know, half of my position is marketing, uh, you know, blogging, tweeting, doing tweet chats about leadership papers, speaking. I'll be speaking here at the, the Hadoop Summit uh, tomorrow. Um, and about half of it is strategy. I, I work within and among the product teams. We have a lot of people doing marketing and strategy at IBM. I'm another voice around the virtual table trying to nudge us in the right direction to deliver ever deeper solution portfolios for all things mm -hmm. big data. Cool. So that's what I do. So, so tell us well, about you're very ranked high in our community. I see you on Twitter, but oh. in our little Twitter tool we have, you're very prolific in big data, um, which is good. For IBM is known internally. A lot of people blogging, a lot of social media within IBM. So big data. I'm, I've got a big mouth. I got big tweeting fingers here too. <laughs> you can't shut me up. <laughs> so tell us about. All right. So IBM here. We're here at a HortonWorks Hadoop Summit. So we've got this uh, kind of this upstart. Uh, Hadoop community, we've got Hortonworks, Cloudera, and the like. Then we've got IBM with a really vast and uh, interesting portfolio of big data tools and services. Mm -hmm. So how does IBM view these guys like Hortonworks, like Cloudera, who are kind of developing a focus exclusively kind of on the core of Hadoop, and, and how does that fit in IBM's big data strategy? Yeah, well, we have a Hadoop offering, of course, Big Insights. Mm -hmm. So we've been in the Hadoop space for several years now with commercial solutions. Um, and of course, there are plenty of other solution providers out in the uh, Hadoop and big data ecosystem that offer tools that you know either compete with us directly or complement us and so forth. Really, you know, we're the Clouderas and the Horton Works and the MapRs and others, we're all part of the same community. Mm -hmm. We're all part of the community that has, has tools and products that address this new approach to doing um, advanced analytics in a massively parallel way, it's called Hadoop. The market for Hadoop solutions continues to expand, continues to develop. The ecosystem, vendors, uh -huh. solution providers, service providers with different emphases, a lot of innovations going on. We're innovating, those guys are innovating. We just want to be part of this community and um, we respect totally what the Clouderas and the Hortonworks are doing and um, it's an exciting time. So IBM, we have a lot to offer um, and um, and you know, we, uh, we make our, 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 our case through all channels uh, mm -hmm. for why a customer should go with IBM. Mm -hmm. But IBM partners <laughs> widely too. We have yeah, a lot correct. of partners here at the show. We know the IBM challenges. We were just at the uh, IBM Edge and uh, this IOD, this innovation. IBM does not have a problem with marketing at the highest level. They are really, really strong on the brand marketing. Um, but as you get into the nuances of the different verticals, there's a lot of crossover. So mm -hmm. uh, we were just at the Edge Storage Conference, and it was nice to see that holistic view of a portfolio where the storage guys are talking about Tivoli, and talking about Big Insight. So you're seeing that coalescing around IBM. Is that, is that part of the new mindset of IBM? You have a new CEO. Uh, what's the internal vibe around IBM? Is it moving from the siloed to more of a packaged groups? 
Yeah, it, big it, data spans a couple different it's things. Platformization, yeah. yeah. So the different platforms for big data. We have a really cool graphic um, that lays out at the very highest level. It'll be in my presentation tomorrow. The IBM Big Data Platform. It's a bit of Hadoop. They're big insights. It's a bit of data warehousing. We have Natiza. We have IBM Smart Analytics System. It's also stream computing. We have a product called InfoSphere Stream, which, oh, by the way, can execute MapReduce models in real time for complex event processing style applications. So really what IBM has is a range of big data platforms you know, to address the three Vs and so forth, um, as do other vendors in various combinations, but we've got a fairly extensive set of platforms and tools to build MapReduce, you know, and, and, and pig and so forth jobs to execute in various and sundry big data platforms. So we offer a degree of choice for customers of the right platform for the right big data, in, uh, uh, for, for various big data uh, applications. So in ma many ways, IBM has not only platforms, we have applications, we have SPSS, we have Cognos, we have a lot of things, we have appliances that can accelerate. You get everything, IBM's got yeah. everything. We like, have professional services yeah. with business it's, analytics and, and also you guys have is massive customer scale. You oh, have yeah. customers at such a high scale. I mean, I mean, we're here at Hadoop Summit where you know, it's such a good feeling because it's like innovation, startups, it's an ecosystem that's growing. But you know, they'd die to have one of IBM's littlest customers, <laughs> at least any of these startups. We've been around for 100 plus years, so clearly we've got a huge history, lots of customers all over the world that have been building and you know, scaling scale. their databases, transactional analytics, yeah. you know, year after year, everywhere in the world, database, the average size of databases continues to and grow. And you got Watson business. out there, great marketing showcase. Yeah, Watson. Mm -hmm. Watson, yeah, Watson's more than more than a you know a marketing stunt on Jeopardy. Uh, Watson, it's a real fact, deal. It's an R&D program yeah. that has produced results that have been productized in solutions for particular vertical applications for things like healthcare. So Watson, that portfolio of intellectual property yeah. uh, and R&D continues to grow and we continue to productize it. So that's part of the overall solution value add that an IBM has to offer. Yeah, and I would share with the, the audience out there, go to YouTube. Oh, and Watson has Hadoop at its core, by the way. Yeah, I mean, so IBM, which is just amazing, youtube.com slash siliconangle. There's an interview on there with Jeff Jonas from IBM we had uh, in Orlando at the H, uh, IBM Edge event. And that probably was at a storage event, which is again, holistic, really was about big data. I mean, mm. he's doing some stuff in IBM that is mind-blowing big data. So, you know, I think there's a lot, if people don't know IBM's a big data company, have it wrong. We were really impressed. You can watch that video here. And have you noticed that all the storage vendors in the last several years have repositioned themselves as big data companies? Because <laughs> where's the data going to be stored? In, you know, massively parallel, petabyte, exabyte? Flash-based. Yada byte, whatever. Yada Intel flash cores. Support. I mean, if you look at the, if you look at what Intel's doing, all their multiple cores, and you got flash, the storage architecture configuration yeah. or the assembly of storage architecture changing. Yeah. You know, I mean, multiple caches, cache this, cache everywhere, flash memory. So we're seeing that in memory persistent. And we heard it this morning on theCUBE about that from a developer standpoint. The notion that I can put petabytes in, quote, memory. You can't, yeah, the, you can't the, yet anywhere not yet, put, but it persist a petabyte of data in cache in, you know, in a, completely unified way. I think the industry is moving yeah. towards that. We were, we were kind of fantasizing, the <laughs> but. It ain't there yet. I mean, yeah, so, yeah. Not there yet, we but. We can't do it, nobody else can do it yet. Yes. Not yet, but that's that's <laughs> what's coming around the corner. Uh, we, you know, gigs and terabytes, it's impressive. So, so with that, um, how do you guys talk to the communities here? Because obviously, you, it's great to be involved. We had uh, Val from NetApp on, and and um, there's real good alignment between the big companies and these growing ecosystems like Hadoop. Um, there doesn't seem to be any static at all. Yeah, all the uh, storage vendors like NetApp and so forth, they are very much trying to grow their stack in terms of analytic databases and uh, modeling tools. So a number of them are partnering with you know, the Hadoop providers of the world to build ever uh, more scalable and high performance full solution stacks. And of course, we, we've done that as well. So, you know, clearly we have within our own product portfolio, 
all the piece parts to build a complete solution stack that also has best of breed, uh, you know, low cost storage at its very heart. Like I said, all the storage vendors are trying to deepen through partnerships. IBM's got all these products in house. And we, of course, we're doing deep R&D to continue to evolve that. You know, one of the things, you know, in addition to, you know, futuristic stuff like petabyte, you know, uh, um, a coherent uh, cache data, um, multi-server for, for, for big data, for, for real-time big data, then, that'll come in a few years' time also, you know, in, on the storage side. I think one of the frontiers in big data will be uh, storing full motion video and doing analytics against it in real time. Because we're talking beyond petabytes there. We're talking about, you know, exabytes and yottabytes and so forth. You know, that's something that in, you know, by the end of this decade, we're going to see, I, I call it, this is just me, uh, I call it big media. There's big data, and data is data. It's structured and unstructured, but media, video, and audio, and all that, that's going to need to be stored and analyzed in real time. In a world where all media is converging digitally, you know, and where analytics in line to video distribution will be critically important, not just in the media industries, but in every industry that relies on streaming media to do training and to get its message out. So that's one of those futuristic things that we at IBM are looking into. The whole notion that full motion video as an object, a type of object, will need to be brought into a broader big data platform story. So that's, okay. just, that's just one IBM evangelist talking about what needs to happen. I'm not making any claim for what we might have. <laughs> well, you don't officially speak for the company, that's always the disclaimer, but no, no one no, ever no. got fired. I'm, I'm just winging it here, I'm just no, freelancing. No one ever got fired for being in the cube, sharing their knowledge of the world, <laughs> as they say. So, sure. thanks, They paid me to be a space cadet. Thanks yeah. for coming on the sure, cube, no we problem. really appreciate it. Um, sharing that knowledge with you, good analyst perspective, good social media mojo, great, we'll see you on Twitter, very prolific in big data at IBM, big player. Uh, we'll be right back with our next guest, we're going to have a short break. <laughs>